All right, let's hit it. Hey, everybody, this is Agent Ice, and I am back with some more Sonic Mania. Today, I'm going to be playing as Ray the Squirrel, character that never really got used, but was kind of thrown around as an idea. And they decided to bring him back in Sonic Mania. Really interesting character. If you like Tails because of his flight, you might like Ray. Does he fly? Not quite the same, but he does. He has this little glide thing that he does. It kind of reminds me of Mario in one of the Super Mario Brothers games where he has a cape and you kind of kind of move like up and down to stay in the air. Of course, if you go off the screen, he'll stop. But you can if you do him right, you can gain height and you can really just stay in the air pretty much indefinitely almost. What if I get that box? Oh, knuckles. You Awesome, awesome again. Get me that shield. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, let's grab that. Even though it's not really as good as what I had, I don't really care. Grab these rings. Up, I'm just gonna finish him off in super there. But yeah, Ray the Squirrel is just kinda cool to play as, honestly. Probably my favorite character to use in this game. Although, another character which I maybe plan on playing tomorrow is a close second. Kinda hope Sega decides to put these guys in another game. They're just kinda cool. Ooh. Oh no, I lost my rings. So bad. You know, I kind of wanna get that ring. Get those. I love that transformation. Pretty cool. In this game, too, I don't normally feel like the super form is so unbearably fast and hard to control that uh, I just can't do anything. Which is nice because. No, even in Sonic 3 and Knuckles, it could be a little bit much to handle. But the controls work so well in this one. They did a very good job in this game. I know I say that a lot, but it's true. Alright. With this little S-curve thing, and of course, we fight the... Egg Robot, that was actually the final boss for Sonic 2. Of course they modified it, it doesn't work quite the same. That was the boss. Look at that. I'm gonna try to get through this as fast as I can. And hopefully I'll do a little bit better than I did as Knuckles once uh, <laughs> I did that playthrough offline, and man, was I terrible. Especially at the end. Oh, I was going nuts. It took me so long to beat that final boss that 
I wasn't sure if maybe I should just edit it out of the video and I was like, nah, you know what? I'll let people see the struggle. Anybody who's watched me play, especially live, they know. I'm good, but I'm not great. And occasionally just absolutely medium. Do that. We're going up here. Trying to be skipping stuff. Actually, I should have taken another path, but I missed up. There's a ring. Alright. Up we go. Actually, is there. Yeah, there are. Oh my gosh. No. There we go. I wanted to get 100 rings, just because. Do I need lives? Well, hopefully not. Ray doesn't have as many lives as some of the other characters I have. Because I just kind of skip through stuff very quickly. But... It's okay. He doesn't... He doesn't need them, because he's Ray. Oh! Let's see, what direction do I go? Let's go right. How can you not like this game? Oh my god, no! I don't wanna hit that red spring. Alright, here we go. So... If you're doing this legit, he goes in the water, he goes left and right. And then he like pops out, bounces a couple of times. And then he throws those orb things, and then you just beat the crap out of them. I know like, I've just been, since I have all the emeralds on these saves, I've been kind of cheesing all these bosses, but... I do like to kind of explain sort of how they work. More like chemical fun plant zone. Get that. All right. All right. Yeah. Knuckles is just like, I'm gonna hang out here. I'm gonna take this path. Okay, or you know what, maybe I won't. Just kidding. I won't take that path. Oh my gosh. Up here, there is a water shield. I'll take this one. Oops, there we go. It's the goo. Maybe he makes flubber at this plant. Maybe that's what he's making. He's making flubber. I don't know if anyone saw that movie or remembers that movie. But, uh, good old Robin Williams there. I remember seeing that in movie theaters. Because I'm old. He made some kind of, I guess, sentient goo. The guy's like, he was, he was playing the role of a professor at a university. He was trying to invent something to make the university money to help him stay open. And he was having some trouble. Ah, 
I was gonna check out the last thing there, but I'll leave it. But anyway, he ends up creating Flubber through some kind of miraculous accident. I think is essentially the way that it went there. And gosh darn it, Bubba. It got itself into a bunch of trouble and the financial issues and him trying to do everything with the flubber and people kind of losing hope it kind of caused some issues between him and his girlfriend and everything and of course he had a competitor professor working at that university that wanted to steal it and make money off of it and apparently had a habit of doing these things, and the professor that Robert Williams was playing uh, apparently didn't mind that this guy was stealing his shit and making money off of it. I don't know, it's kind of weird. But anyway, yeah, so... Yeah, we're taking the upper path here. But yeah, not a, not a cool dude. Not a cool dude. But he hires these thugs to, like, go and break into his house and steal the flubber, and the flubber goes crazy and beats the you-know-what out of them and everything. It's... He also found that he could put it on uh, shoes. Their basketball team really sucked, and they couldn't really jump, and so he, he, he took the flubber gel stuff that he made and he sprayed it on the bottom of their shoes and they were able to like jump higher and stop run easier all kinds of crazy crap it's an interesting movie of course it's you know it's a kid friendly one not too bad because if you ever have a chance to check it out you know I'm not gonna tell you it's gonna change your life forever but it was an alright movie it is alright. Oh, why did I do that? That was really You know what? I can I can still make things work. This is okay. I'll make things work. Uh well, I guess they're gonna force my hand there. That's okay, we'll pull off a combo. I'm going to need a... There we go. Didn't quite get to do what I wanted to do, but they were dropping stuff on me, so I wanted to get rid of those. Mm... Yeah, you know what, whatever, I'll blow these up. Get that crap out of here. Aw, it's over already. It's almost almost a shame that's that short. Honestly. I really enjoy that. Even though it's a really simple, dumbed down, slow one. I used to I had Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine on my Sega Genesis, and I would spend hours and hours playing that game. I beat it in the hardest difficulty, and it was, it was so fun. Like, I was really good. I'd get, like, 20 combos and stuff going, and it was absolutely insane. Now I try doing that, and it's like, yeah, you know, I kind of get something going. That was kind of cool. But anyway, yeah, it was fun. And what I used to do, so it had passcodes you could put in to get to whatever stage for whatever difficulty. And you could enter these passcodes in a menu. And I would just go and put in random codes and try to figure out stuff. And eventually I figured out some for, like, things that are kind of important, like the final boss. Or just, you know, way later on some of the harder difficulties. And the AI got a lot better, but the 
moves and everything, the speed it with the beans would go and drop down would increase a lot. And it would be to the point where it's just like, boom, 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 boom. Like, you did not have time to sit and think about it. You needed to be like, get that shit done, right? And to make the earlier levels, oh my god, I suck. The earlier levels easier, I would play some of those harder ones where it moved super quick, and then go back and play the easier, slower ones, because maybe at first the the lower difficulty ones that seemed harder, they seemed a lot faster than they were. They didn't seem as fast after you got used to the speed of the higher difficulty ones. And I never really, you know, I didn't really think about why that was so much as a kid. It's just something that I, I noticed, right? I, I observed this pattern. And so that's what I did to kind of help myself do better. And it wasn't until years later I was taking driver's ed course in uh, high school because, well, they made it mandatory for all of us to do, like, a really extensive one because we had, unfortunately, a lot of kids who died in our school from uh, automobile accidents, many because they were drunk driving and were high or something, right? Or just doing stupid crap. And... You know, so the, the state actually made it mandatory for the school to, you know, offer more in-depth driver training and not, and you know, make it freely available. And not only that, um, they had like another thing they called behind the wheel, which was like actual driving stuff for prep for uh, getting your driver's license. But anyway, anyway. Yeah, so they were talking about a concept called highway hypnosis. And with highway hypnosis, if you've been on the highway or interstate for a long time, driving, you're driving at higher speeds, and then you get off the highway, and you, know, you feel like you're driving slower than you really are, so then you end up speeding up because you kind of just mentally quit believing what the speedometer says that you're, you're doing as far as a, a driving speed. And so you'll end up also kind of just driving faster and faster because when you get used to the speed, it feels slow and then you speed up again, right? It's the disconnect between how things feel because you, your brain compensates for the speed and processes things quicker and therefore it feels slower and you know what the what the actual numbers say and i that was essentially what i was taking advantage of i was you know not highway hypnosis i guess but the same concept i made myself look at stuff that was a lot faster and because of that the other stuff when i went to go do you know slower even if it's just slightly slower difficulty stuff it just, you know, it felt like I was doing beginner tier um, gameplay because it just it felt that slow to me in comparison because my brain was used to processing things a lot quicker. So yeah, kind of a kind of an interesting thing, but yeah, I learned about that early on in life, and I didn't really understand entirely the way that it worked until much later on. So it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Uh, how do I... Let's see here. Oh, no! I didn't want to touch those. That was bad. You know, we're going to do one of these. Oh, never mind. That didn't really get me. Okay, I just need a few more rings so I can go super. Come on. Let me go super. There we go. Lotto time. Uh, 
kind of feels like a waste of my coins, but then, or rings, but then again, I mean, I did get some out of it. More or less ended up breaking even, but that's beside the point, I guess. Flying now, I love that. Probably could have just skipped over and gone to the right some more and made that a lot quicker, but hey. Whatever. Through the funnel. I don't know why we get points for going through a funnel like that, but you know what, whatever, I'm not gonna question it. Just not, not worth it, right? As long as I don't get squished, ooh. Another lottery. One time, seven, three, one. Alright, well that was kind of whatever, not anything particularly great. Oh no, I bounced back. Oh, I don't want to do this. Seven times through. Ooh. That gave me quite a bit of stuff there. I could be okay with that. Oh wow, I got that shield? Wow, alright, alright. We're getting stuff. Getting those freebies. I'll turn down some freebies. Oh my gosh, Ray, you jump so high. Everyone feels like they jump high compared to Knuckles. So you're supposed to hold on to these things, but I like to just be super form and cheat, essentially. Boom. Ray, you are a badass. He's just lying. Lying battery zone. Well, we're definitely flying in this place. I think what I'll... Ooh. Ooh. No, the Roomba hit me! Why? Like, Roomba, at least it didn't suck up my... I love... I like the animation! When he's, like, climbing between those, he's, like, doing flips into... That's sweet! I love the sprites they used for this game. They are so good. So freaking good. I mean, like, who doesn't want to see Ray just kind of... <laughs> That's awesome. Sometimes it's the small things in life, right? Sometimes it's just Ray doing flips as he climbs on bars. I just want to get a shield here. Probably a lightning one. I'd settle for fire too. Oh, come on. Why are you giving me not what I want? Second try, I should get it. Boom. I know not everyone would probably agree with me, but I think this little pinball mini game is one of the better ones ever that they've had in a Sonic game. I do like the magnetic ball one they had in Sonic 3 and Knuckles, though. That was pretty awesome. Okay, and up we go. Wait, what the heck? Oh, that's right. It is cool, too, how they made it so... Uh, 
how they made it so you are magnetized and stick to the ceiling there if you have the electric shield. Otherwise, it doesn't do that. I thought it was just kind of a cool touch. There's a little extra thought they put into it. They're like, hey, you know, it would be cool if, or make sense if. Oh, no, 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 no! Ooh, that. That could have been very bad. Wait a second, how am I going to. Oh, no. There we go. I had to unstick myself from the ceiling there. Oh my gosh, I knew that was gonna happen. They pretty much set you up to get hit. For being honest. And we'll grab a shield real quick. Oh, I just missed that. No. Alright. Okay. Yeah, those, those mad pinball wizard skills, right? <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. I got my shield. I don't spend too much time in this wonderful minigame. If I didn't really like the music for this zone, I wouldn't care so much. But I want to listen to Flying Dead. Whatever. You know what? Last time I took the upper path. I'll go down. Oh, no. I missed all this. There's a... Uh... You know what? Forget it. Fine. Ah, that's too bad. We'll be super might a uh, super ray. Oh well, I wasn't so super there. Gosh darn it! This gotta be. Yeah, I can't quite. I hate how easy it is to get squished in these games. Like that, if I die, that is how I die. I got squished. 99%. But then again, I mean, they do make it hard to die in general. So I suppose it's kind of fair. Oh yeah, back. Well, yeah. I don't know why, but he turned around. Ooh, four knuckles. I uh, I know what that one's like because I was just there myself. Boom! There we go. Knuckles. All right. I think you can, yes you can. You can push the spike there and get some rings. And then you collect your one up and then, whoops, Ah, oh, come on. I wanted to get that other one up. Yeah, and it's not really that I needed it, I just wanted it. Oh, all well, these things kind of work out, all right. It's kind of cool there. I don't know if you noticed it, but on the wall, they showed his plans for what is actually the boss for the next act. Frey got through Act 1. Heck yeah, he did. We just got taken out with the trash, dude. But that's kind of messed up. We got grabbed by those things, but I mean, the rest of it didn't. So that means it just kind of fell to the ground somewhere, right? Somewhere down below, there's some poor person standing there and all of this stuff is like pieces of metal and everything just kind of raining down. They're probably dead. It's like we just don't we don't talk about that. We just we don't think about that. This is a Sonic game. Alright. How do I want to tackle this? You know what? I know. Alright. 
All right, Commander Cluck. Yeah, that. He's just holding on by his tail. I love that. Like, I, I honestly, I love those animations. The sprites. Oh, come on. That wasn't fair. You're not supposed to poke me like that. We're just gonna blow through there. I could get a shield. I'd like to get a shield, but... I'm gonna try to boost on through here for now. Uh, of course, it opens up that one. Ooh, grab those rings, why not? We're gonna need them. You know all the rings we can get. Oh my gosh. So tempting to do this. Alright. There's probably a quicker way through this. If there is, though, I don't know what it is. I just kind of play the level. No, don't do that to me. That's not what I say. I can just do one of these. Mr. Chicken! Oh, I can just... They blew up and opened up a hole. That works for me. I'll take it. Invincibility stars that I just don't need. Oh, that's right. There's, uh... Yeah. There is jank up there. Now I don't remember where I go. Oh, there we go. Ah, uh, I should have gone up. That's fine. He's just gonna drop me down. In with more trash. Okay, and then we kind of sink in the trash. That thing. Hopefully, not get myself squished. You know what? Forget it. I'll just take it up. Come on. There's so many of those. Those little grabbers. I don't know what to call them. Alright, we are gonna go in here. We are gonna catch this one. Because we're getting to the point where I'm going to need to... Hey, what's up, Hydro? so bad. Why so bad? You know what? We're getting out of here. I feel like I'm wasting too much time in there. Alright. Down into here. Oh, I don't like this. This part is Definitely want to be a little bit on the careful side here. Oh, I could have got those rings. Oh well. Got yeah, most of those. We hit a hundred. Just gotta be careful here. Not to do something too stupid. No, 
That's right. Eat that, Robotnik. Can I get three? Yeah! I got three on that one. Heck yeah. He just jetpacks off. Bray's like, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Bam. I love it. Press Garden. When I first played this zone, I didn't really like it. I like it a lot more now. After having, you know... After I played through it a few times, like, hey, you know, Press Garden's not too bad. Just sometimes you run into stuff that's a little annoying. With Knuckles, there's a lot of annoying stuff in here, admittedly. Mostly because of his lack of being able to jump very high. Yeah, I'm on, Mr. Krabs. Ooh. Ink. It's an ink monster. A robot. Actually, you know, speaking of ink monsters, enemies, whatever, actually makes me think of Bendy and the Ink Machine. Now, I have not personally played one of those. I didn't watch a playthrough. I don't normally watch people play through games, but that one was kind of interesting, and I watched somebody play through it. it. Seemed really cool. And I guess recently they came out with a second one. Someday when I have a chance, I gotta sit and watch somebody play through that. Alright, you know what? We're just gonna we're gonna do one of these because reasons. I guess wait, what? Did I... I... Oh there we go. I had to hit the bottom to make it. Alright. But yeah, I, the first one it seemed kinda nuts, and I mean I don't you know, hopefully not ruining anything for anyone. I mean, the game is pretty old at this point. But... Yeah, I guess there's like this guy had an animation studio and it had its run, but it was done. And the guy who ran the studio wanted to bring back everyone that worked on this cartoon. And have them, I guess, try to, like, make a new one or something. I don't... That or he just wanted to meet them all again. I, I don't remember what. But anyway... So he sent invites to all the people, the, the person who made the music for it, the writer, dude, the voice actors, so on and so forth, right? And I guess... I don't know. He went nuts or something. And I think he killed them... You know, but more specifically, I guess, sacrificed them. And they got... You know, their physical bodies, I think, were dead, but they got put inside of, like, this weird cartoon horror world thing where all the characters and everything were getting corrupted by some kind of ink demon based on, like, the main character for the game or something. Or the, the cartoon. It was, it was pretty wild. It was pretty wild, but it looked kind of cool. To be entirely honest with you, it looked pretty cool. Like I said, I, I sat there and actually watched somebody play through it. Which I don't, like, pretty much ever do. Come on. Today's playthrough is brought to you by the letter A. For ah! Alright. But yeah, I don't even like horror stuff, but that was just... The lore and everything for it was just so interesting. 
don't know. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Every once in a while you run into something like that, though. It's so interesting and unique. It may not you know, be a genre or something you normally like. But, I don't know. It just kind of... It interests you anyway. Alright, I'm doing this the cheesy easy way because... The heck with this boss. That's super fun! Let's go! His look... Looking up animation is actually a little slow. It takes a second to do stuff. Alright. Oh my gosh. Get good ice. There you go. Of course, when you come out of your glide, he does a spin, too, so if you need to attack something, you can. Oh, oh no, we're frozen. Ah, oh, that guy just tries to drop stuff on you. That's not very Let's see. Jump up here, jump up here. I want to play through a bunch of these Sonic games that are on PC here. I don't know what what's going to be next, though. I do have Sonic 4, but they never actually finished it, because I think they were supposed to... Nope! There was supposed to be like a third part, and it was just so unpopular they didn't do it. And also, if uh, I understand correctly, it's like Sonic Team really had like almost no input on the game. They just had little dimps to make it. I don't even know. If should even consider it a Sonic game. <laughs> just kind of, I don't know. It didn't do well for a reason. Oh my gosh, he looks the direction you he's moving. That's kind of cool. I never noticed that before. Oh no, I can't go that way. Like when they do little things like that, it's interesting. I don't... Wait a second, there's a... Hey, oh, I can't get that. Here we go. This is how it was supposed to be. I just took the level on that part of it anyway, the wrong way. It wasn't how they wanted me to do it. Oh my god, we're moving fast now, baby! Pretty cool. Oh no. What the heck? Oh jeez. I'm so frozen! Ah! He's gonna get frostbite from that. He's gonna have to amputate his tail. Right. Yeah, I'm jumping up there. Ooh. Hey, it's the boss, Mr. Ninja Tricks. That also freezes you. Alright, get back here, you Naruto wannabe bot. I'm just kidding, he doesn't clone himself into a bunch of naked women. He's not Alright. 
Let's hit this. Got through Act 2. Bang. Good stuff, good stuff. Yep, Stardust Speedway coming right up. I think it's time to crack open a cold mineral water. This one's strawberry flavored. No sugar, no artificial sweeteners. It is awesome. I love strawberry flavor. I'm not even normally a big strawberry person, but this tastes really dang good. It's actually talking to somebody streaming Legend of Dragoon the other day. Really, really cool guy. Um, but, oh god! He was talking about how he was diagnosed with diabetes and he kind of figured, you know, that was gonna happen. He hadn't exactly lived the healthiest lifestyle. And, you know, feel bad for the guy. But anyway, I guess he was talking about changes to his diet. And he was getting... Oh, what's it called? I can't remember. But anyway, he was drinking some kind of, like, flavored water beverage. And it was something I actually recognized. It's not what I'm drinking. This isn't... This isn't that kind of thing. Oh my gosh, you stupid lightning bug thing. Why you do that to me? Why you do that to me? <laughs> but anyway, he was talking about how he buys this stuff, he likes it, and it's kind of like his replacement for soda. And I'm like, you gotta be careful with that, because it's got a lot of aspartame in it. And he's like, does it? I'm like, yeah, it's got a lot of aspartame. So he looked it up, and he's like, oh yeah, you're right. I mean, he didn't look it up, but he looked at it, and he had a bottle there. He's like, well, I don't know. I guess I'll drink it. Yeah, you know, like anything else, you gotta be kind of careful with certain things that are artificial, but it's like aspartame apparently can cause a bunch of bunch of issues uh, I think neurological and so on and you know there's even reports you know testing with lab mice and stuff and gave them cancer yeah you know I wouldn't I mean, I wouldn't want anyone to get cancer that's some that's some really effed up stuff I've had many family members die from it it's just, it's, it's not great, you know, it's, it's about as crappy as, like, Alzheimer's, which I've also had a lot of family members, you know, die from. Because after a while, I mean, it just, you, you, you just deteriorate, right? You can't do anything. But, <clears throat> yeah, I was like, yeah, you might want to watch out on the aspartame intake, you know, and, like, a, a lot of things, right? All things in moderation, though, honestly, a lot of things we we like probably shouldn't even eat like you know i'm not i'm not gonna lie this weekend i've been doing keto and everything actually it's paying off pretty pretty good i feel it but um you know i went to aldi and i was like all right i'm getting some chocolate whipping cream they have like this really good like mocha chocolate whipping cream stuff and i ate the bottle it was freaking amazing obviously I shouldn't have done that but, you know, you can't, you can't take all the joy out of your life either, right? <laughs> so, I guess all things with moderation, even though some things we should just, uh, not have. What are you gonna do, right? Nobody's going to be the, the pinnacle of, of health. But... But you could definitely try to make things a little bit better. I know for me, you know, I, especially over, like, the winter and stuff, like, I, I just know I've got a lot of family members that like to bake, especially, like, my one aunt. She makes all kinds of stuff, and, like, she will fatten me up over the holidays, let me tell you. Like, she makes some awesome stuff. It's like, even... Even if you know you shouldn't be eating it, like, you're just, you're not gonna say no. A, it's my aunt. And, and B, 
B, it's, it's, it's freaking awesome. You know, she's the kind of person that makes a bunch of, she's just, she's very talented. And she'd go to like craft shows and sell various things. Um, a lot of times for like Christmas and Easter, she would make candy and stuff and sell it and make like a bunch of money. Um, and it, I mean, it, it's freaking good stuff. It really is. Like, you got really good, like, chocolate, dunked pretzels with all kinds of things on them. I'm talking about like the big rod pretzels. Oh, those are good. And then she'll have like peanut butter ones. She'll make uh, chocolate dipped Oreos and put a bunch of stuff in them and Reese's Pieces, or Re not Reese's Pieces, but Reese's Butter Cups. Oh my god, it, 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 it like, it's so good, and you know that it's going to just, you're, you're, you know you're going to be diabetic the next day after you, you eat any of this stuff, right? Like, you're, you, you just, you're going to have a heart attack or something, you know, like, you're, you're going to die. You just shaved, like, a year off your life, but, god, is it good. <laughs> it is the best stuff. It's like, I don't even... I don't even like to buy candy and stuff from the store or anything. It's like nothing, nothing compares to the stuff she makes. It's freaking fantastic. Like I said, she just, she's just very good at craft stuff in general. She does craft shows for all kinds of stuff. She makes jewelry, or at least she, you know, she did. Like, all kinds of stuff. She'd have orders coming in all the time, but she has like. She's like COPD, and what happened is, like, it's just something that gets worse and worse, and she has trouble with, like, breathing and oxygen levels and stuff. And so, she just, she couldn't do it anymore. Mainly be, gosh, because, you know, her lungs couldn't handle a lot of the chemicals when she was metalworking and stuff. So, she had to stop, which is... Really unfortunate, because she's really freaking good at it. Like, I wish I had artistic ability at all, but I cannot do anything like that. That is not my calling in life. That is definitely not my calling. That's not very nice. You hurt nipples. Hey, I jumped over you. What you gonna do, buddy? <laughs> I love playing this ray. You were getting ready to do something there. Oh no, I always forget about the. Uh, that right there is what's called being down at you. Four knuckles. Boom. That's right. Hit Metal Sonic. I just stand here. Hardest boss fight ever. Oh no, I gotta move to the other side now. How could you? How could you do this to me? Oh, you got beat up. What are you gonna do there, Metal Sonic? Oh, we're running again. Yeah, here's the part that actually gotta not be too terrible. No, 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 no. Oh my god, I almost died. You gotta be very careful doing that. There's a who? Yeah, I uh, I almost killed myself there. I don't always kill myself. Oh wait, I usually do in these games. But when I do it, it's when I'm doing the stream and I look like a complete and total loser. Uh oh. Is it Hydro? Yes, Hydro City, baby! Let's go! Love Hydro City. 
Uh oh. You know this is a rock and Okay, you know, I'm just gonna stab myself, I guess. With those little skewer things. Oh, it's starting me down here. I was hoping to fall again, because I wanted to take a hard left. Grab this thing. That's okay. What happens if I do that? Oh! You know, I've never done that before, and that was pretty darn cool. Does that mean I get to bypass all the... Okay, I guess not. I should have jumped there. I have to remember that for next time. Hey, this is where I die! I recognize this place! It brings back such terrible memories. What a time that occurred a few minutes ago. Doo, doo, doo. No, don't shoot me! That's not cool! Oh my god. Alright, we're going in here. I need a shield. Of some sort. Preferably not fire or lightning though. Wow, I suck. I missed that. And that was that should have been an easy one. That's okay. You know what? We got we got a better potential. Bam! Water shield. Let's go. Uh oh. No. Eh, yeah, we'll just get out of here. I collected rings in there, and I didn't actually get them. It just kind of disappeared. No, my boat. I'm getting like Ocarina of Time Water Temple vibes from some of uh... Whoops. See if I was Oh my gosh. How to get good for dummies. I need that book. There we go. Look at that. Whoa. Hey there, buddy. Don't be firing a rocket off of me, boy. Oh, okay, dude needs to go up here. Yeah, drain the water there. Such a fun little tune. Oh, no, 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 no! Ooh. Oh. So, I'm in a bubble inside of a bubble. Bubbleception. Move over, Bubble Boy, because I got a Bubble Squirrel. Look at Knuckles, he's stuck in the flying animation. That was great. He looks cool when he's flying. Or gliding, I guess. He's not really flying. You yeah, know. Ooh, up. Guess we're doing this one. Do, 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 do. Ooh, that was a little- No! I always- You know what? I think I always do that with this one. He's not even there. I can't even, like, hit him or anything. 
And then I go super so I don't lose my rings if I get hit again. And then this whole part, like, you just don't use... It just doesn't benefit you in any way. It's like, ah, oh, man. Hey, look, it's the old Robotnik. I'm just gonna destroy stuff. What? Somebody set us up the bomb! And the water's like, okay, we get it. Like, you're fast. You've done this before. You don't need to flex, okay? Oh, he's gonna go this way. Oh. It doesn't really matter. I'm in, uh, I'm in super form. He can't hurt me. kind of realized that. Well, Robotnik, I hope you don't drown. That would be pretty unfortunate, especially in a kid-friendly game such as this. is crumbling. Oh no, I didn't want to go down. I'm allergic to water. Is that even possible? I hope not. That'd be pretty terrible. Especially since, what, like 90 some percent of your body, I think it is, is made up of water. You wouldn't even, you wouldn't be able to stand yourself. Like, why are you sick? I make myself so sick to my stomach. Yeah, we're just gonna, like, grab a shield here real quick. I definitely... Whoop, whoop, whoop. Here we go. Hey, thank you for the follow. Thank you for the follow. Very much appreciated. Hey, how you doing, Moxie? Dude, that was crazy. As soon as I said that, the uh, light went out. <laughs> how you doing today? Awesome. A happy Monday. Yeah, we say that at work too, but we're usually joking when we say it. <laughs> Yeah, dude, like, Ray is my favorite character in this game, hands down. I absolutely love playing as Ray. He is so cool. Like, I hope they put him in more games. They need to. He needs to be like a regular Sonic the Hedgehog character. Ooh, we knocked that guy out. Oops. 
I done goof. There we go. I'll be honest, I don't mind Mighty either. He's like, in a lot of ways, a better Knuckles, except he can't glide. And for many reasons, Ray is kind of like better than Tails. Actually, when I play as Ray, it reminds me of... I forget which Super Mario Brothers game it... Oh, alright, I got hit. I'm just gonna get a shield done. It reminds me of that Super Mario Brothers game where they're on, like, Dinosaur Island or something. And, uh... You get that cape from one of the dudes, like, part of the way through the game, and you just kind of, like, do this, like... I don't know. Camera doesn't really pick up hand movement very well, but yeah, it, it's, it's like, it's like having that cape. That's exactly what it feels like, and I love it. That was my favorite power-up in that game. Hands down. Yeah, world, okay. I couldn't remember if it was like world, like, just world, or world two, or three, or whatever. Honestly, like, I don't, I have... I'm bad with those, because, like, we had Morio Brothers back on the NES, and then, like, there were other Morio Brothers games, and, like, I guess in the U.S. they didn't number them right, because one came out in Japan before, like, it was released in the U.S., so, like, over there it was two, and over here it was three or something. Yeah, I don't know. I, I wouldn't go as far as to say that I hate Mario, but... You'll very rarely see me play Mario. Probably make a lot of the Mario fans out there very sad. Um, but Mario in general, yeah, it, it hasn't really been something that I'm super into. So I definitely can understand. But like I said, just Ray reminds me of that power up. And that was the only Mario game that I liked, and it had that power up. <laughs> I didn't even like 64. Everyone was like, Mario 64 is so good. And I'm like, I don't like it. <laughs> and then you get the, how dare you? It was a masterpiece. Oh, God. I just, I just screwed up there, I think. Oh, I didn't transform, did I? Oh, I, I did bad right there. I did really bad. Oh God. Give me an air bubble. <laughs> oh my God. Come on Robotnik, blow yourself up. Finally. I need rings. Oh. Oh, I still need to be careful here. I can totally screw this up like a champ. Give me here. Oh, come on. I need to get him again. Oh my. But yeah, I've been. I've definitely been a fan of uh, good old Sonic the Hedgehog for most of my life. I mean, I grew up with a Sega Genesis, and of course I had Sonic 1, and uh, I don't think I ever owned Sonic 2, but I got Sonic 3, and I got Sonic and Knuckles, and I remember saving up to get those games. Like, it took me a while to get them both, but I eventually did, and it was freaking awesome. Two I got later on. I think somebody gave me it. I had like two copies of the first Sonic, too. I know, like, a lot of the Sonic games that come out, you get people that are like... I don't know, it just... A lot of... The player base, they're not happy with them. In general, there's not a lot of Sonic games I'd say that I genuinely don't like. 
to the point where it's like, yeah, I don't, I never play this. Like, this is garbage. I know people that are like that, though. You know, in general, yeah, I think I probably prefer 2D Sonic, but then, like, Sonic Adventure 2? I freaking love that game. I plan on playing that at some point here. I don't know when, but it's it's on my list of things to play. For sure. Oh my gosh. I need rigs! I need rigs! Oh, thank goodness. I need that shield too. Oh, how did I not get it? No! Oh my god. I was pretty excited, uh, why? I, I don't, okay, yeah. I don't like how the movement is on the plane in this. Cause like when you jump, there's like a second delay where the, paint, the plane kind of goes down and bounces back up. And you have to wait for it to go back up before you can really move again. That throws me off, especially after playing Sonic 2, where that wasn't a thing. Cause I, I did Sky Chase Zone like, Probably close to 12 times just playing through the game because I did it in normal mode, then I went back and did it in mirror mode. So, like, having that delay there, I just don't expect it. It just seems weird. Actually, it took a. After doing mirror mode like I was doing, um, it was really weird playing Sonic going from left to right again. Like it didn't, it didn't feel right. And if I watched anyone else play, it just it looked totally wrong. Cause it's like, no, you should be moving from right to left. <laughs> but it's like I just got so used to it that playing it normally seemed odd. All right, come on. This is about where I was before when I I messed up very very badly why can't I get that I guess I have to just jump and ooh, land right on that bad boy that's fine we'll get along even without it ooh no oh really you dirty birdie didn't even oh my gosh no I lost my rings I like how they took that one asset from spring yard zone and they used it kind of like a like a warning light thing that's kind of cool actually I like how they, they really repurposed or slightly modified a lot of the assets from the old Sonic games and then it's like it's just kind of cool, you know, being someone that knows those really old ones really well. I can really look at stuff like that and appreciate it. You know, maybe in ways that maybe uh, somebody who isn't familiar with those games, maybe a newer Sonic fan wouldn't quite be able to appreciate the same way. Uh-oh! It's Mr. Worm! Oh, no, 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 no! Can I hit him? Hey! I did it that time. Come at me, bro. Bam. Ain't a scared of you. What? I remember the first time I fought that boss and he absolutely destroyed me so many times. I mean, he's really like, he's kind of annoying and he can be hard. But now it's like, oh yeah, I'll just run laps around this guy. Like, he's nothing. This is absolutely ridiculous. He just shoots like, I don't know, it almost looked like a cork or something, and the plane's just like in flames, crashing on the ground. We bailed the F out of there. 
It's like the last time that thing got shot down, it took like a laser from Winged Fortress to take it out. And he just shoots it with like a little cork gun. And it's like, oh, all right, plane's dead. Uh-oh. We're gonna do one of these. Gotta love... I love the mobility you get with Ray. He is such a good character. Absolutely amazing. Oh. No! Wait a second, there's gotta be a way for me to get over here. Trying to might not be the brightest idea I've ever had either, but you know what. Kinda- ooh! I figured it out! I don't normally take this pathing, so I didn't even know that bonus ring was there. No, alright. Whoop, a little too far. A little too much jump. I do kind of wish, though, maybe their super forms, they were a little more unique. Kind of like how they were with Sonic 3 and Knuckles. But then again, I mean, I guess technically that was their hyper forms. It wasn't super still. It'd have been kind of cool. It's like, Knuckles would just shake the entire screen when he glided into a wall or something. Sonic could do his little like, flash thing and kill everything on the screen. And then Tails just made an army of furry woodland creatures and Flickies kill everything. I don't know what to tell you there, Osh. Like, I... You know, if I had my way in Twitch, there just wouldn't be ads when people first join. Because I, I, I kind of hate that, you know. I want people to see what they're getting into. Yes. Yup, these good old dudes. But Twitch is like, no, we want to make money the way that we want to. So you can't control these things. So, I don't know, like I said, I don't know what to tell you, Osh. It's not, uh, definitely not how I particularly want things to be. Ah, oh, now you can hear me. You mean I could have he sat here and talked like mad crap on you and you wouldn't have known any better? And I could have got away with it? Shoot, I missed my chance. <laughs> how goes the how goes the Genshin impact there, Osh? I know you've been playing that lately. Or uh have you taken a break for that to uh continue playing Raid Shadow Legends? Oh my god. I, I had, uh, I know you haven't been playing that, but I, I just had to make an excuse to say that because it's, like, those commercials are so ridiculously, like, all over the place and over the top. That announcer. It's like, I'll never play that game, but... <laughs> I'll never be able to get that, that voiceover guy out of my head saying, Rage Show. I did like that in Mania they made it so the fire shield... Well, I mean, they didn't have the fire shield, obviously, in Sonic 2, but they made it so that it actually catches the oil on fire. That's That was a really cool little thing they did. Ooh. Just like making the electric shield 
lightning shield, whatever, magnetize you so in flying battery zone you can get stuck to the magnetic ceilings and stuff. That was kind of cool. Ooh. We're just... Come on! There we go. Homemade subs, Rofi's hand, Swiss mail, and... Oh, so you're inviting me over for, for dinner then, right, Osh? That sounds pretty good. That sounds pretty good. Catch a flight. Yeah, that'd be uh, that'd be a bit of a trip for me. Some Debbie cakes, man. That's uh. That's practically the uh, the American diet right there. Conflicts. <laughs> you just need some like hot dogs or something, and some fries. What kind of um, what kind of ice cream was it? Conflicts. Just out of curiosity. Turkey and chicken. Oh my god, you're making me hungry. I'm like, I mean, I could actually eat that on keto, but part of it too is not eating a whole bunch. I, I decided that I was going to make myself healthier. It was cherry. Okay, that could be pretty good. That could be pretty good. What I like to do, especially at restaurants, I'd get vanilla ice cream, or better yet, a vanilla shake, and I'd get fries, and I'd eat them together, because the saltiness of the fries and the fattiness of the fries with the, the ice cream, and then like the temperature differential, oh my god, it's so good. I haven't had that in like freaking forever. It's like all the bad stuff, you know, to eat, but it goes so well together. You know what's funny? Like, I never knew anybody else that would do that, that would get vanilla ice cream and get fries and eat them together because it tasted good. Like, people, at least around here, right? Like, my friends and family thought I was nuts. And then, like, some of them actually tried and they're like, you know what? Like you were on to something there. And then years later, I was watching, I wanna say it was a Food Network. And it was one of those shows where they make food and they're trying to like, you know, make the best whatever, right? The best dish. And this person did French fries with ice cream. And then they explained like, why it's so good together and everything. And, you know, whatever. And then like, I was like, yes, I figured this out a long time ago. Obviously, I am a master of the culinary arts. I mean, not really, but you know, I know what tastes good. Ketchup on, I, I, I don't think I could do that. I, I don't know. Maybe there's somebody out there that likes ketchup on their ice cream. If you do, please, I, I, you know what? Feel free to speak up. You know, I, I, I don't know. Explain that one to me if, it, if that's even possible. But I, I don't know. I don't know about ketchup on ice cream. But then again, I mean, maybe that's, you know, there's very few things I need ketchup on anyway. Maybe french fries. Actually, you know what? French fries and, and uh, fried, like, potatoes and probably about the only two things I'd eat that way. Really, just, I don't eat that much as far as, like, mustard, and ketchup, and all that stuff anymore. Mustard's good for you. Ketchup, not so much. Is what it is. Oh my goodness. Like, 
like I said, I I try to stay away from all these things that I like as much as possible, just because. Just because I'm trying to, to get myself a bit healthier. I was actually pretty happy. You know, <clears throat> I, I don't know if you caught me earlier when I was talking about it, but, you know, over the holidays and stuff there, I just gained so much weight. I was, I was being fed awesome cookies and, and candies and stuff that were homemade. And they were amazing. Um, and also chock full of calories. But anyway, I decided, okay, like, I, I, I gained quite a bit of weight. And I was like, all right, I'm, I'm done. I'm, I gotta, I gotta change things here. And I checked the other day, like, I already, like, in a month, I already lost, like, 10 pounds doing keto. It's like not even strict keto either. And, uh. Oh my god, it was like awesome. I still want to lose like at least another 10. I wouldn't mind 15, but I also don't want to push it too much. You don't want to lose too much at once, or it's not really healthy. It doesn't look good either. But. No! You know, we'll just we'll just beat the octopus then. Release the Kraken! Woo! You don't eat. See, I can't I can't imagine. I think for me it's like it's more of an addiction than anything. I don't normally actually get all that hungry. But like when I'm stressed out or I'm bored, I'll just I'll just eat, right? So that's like my problem. I have to keep myself preoccupied or I'll eat because it's just it's something to do. Essentially. Which is another reason why I think taking up streaming and, and trying to, like, figure out how to, you know, edit videos and stuff has been such a good thing. Because, A, I'm learning new skills. You know, that's that's just good. In gen- Aw, oh, I found a lot of them so bad. Ooh. But, I'm learning new skills and also kind of preoccupies my mind. So I don't even think about that stuff. Then again, I don't know, am I just trading one addiction for another, right? But I, I guess, uh... You just kind of rotate your addictions around in whatever way is most beneficial to you, maybe. <laughs> maybe that's the, the way to look at it. Ooh, I want a fire shield, I think. Yep, we're gonna grab that guy. And we'll get out of here. I don't want to spend too much time in this bonus level. Even though pinball is pretty addicting. Pretty addicting. Oh yeah, by the way, Conflict, you sent me that... That link to the Space Cadet pinball thing that used to be on Windows XP. I downloaded that. <laughs> I definitely downloaded that. I was like, ooh. Maybe I'll play it sometime. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll Twitch stream back. Pinball. I don't think anyone will watch me do that, though, to be entirely honest with you, but. Could be worse. I wonder if it even has a category on Twitch. You just become a big pinball 
Space Cadet Pinball Streamer. Demand they add a thing for it. Like, how do you not? I have practically three followers that want to watch me play this. Meanwhile, anyone else who watches me for the stuff that I actually play will be like, why are you doing this? Alright. Let's see here. I'm gonna hit this spring and do the loop-de-loop -loop around. I mean, I, I don't know how the remake or whatever that runs on Windows 10 is, but I know the original pinball game was pretty fun. I actually watched a video. I can't remember what the channel is called. Because it's been a while now. But this guy has a channel about a bunch of weird, like, computer stuff. And he had a video. It was like a half hour or more long video about that pinball game. And I guess, like, certain versions... I can't remember if it was Vista or 7. I think it was Vista actually shipped with it. Like, the pre-builds, not the actual finished one, and he's like... He couldn't... He really tried to figure out, like, why they quit shipping it, and his... His conclusion was more or less, it was probably along the lines of... It, it was a little buggy on Vista, and not only that, the graphics of the game itself just didn't look as good as the other games that shipped with Vista. And so they probably just didn't include it, because there were even, like, elements of it, like some of the lights and things wouldn't work properly, no matter what you did. For whatever reason. Oh my gosh, I got help. But yeah. But he like went deep dive into that. I never thought I'd see anything like that. But it was kind of cool, you know, running into somebody who's like, yeah, I like this thing, but it wasn't in here. And I was like, why is this not in here? Back when I was a kid, like, I didn't really play it on my own home computer, but when I was at my... I had to stay with my great-grandparents for a while. And they had a very simple computer. I wasn't going to be playing a bunch of games and stuff on it, but it had that. And so I would play that pinball game. And my great-grandpa and I, and even one of my uncles that was that would be there sometimes, we would all just try to compete, see who could come, you know up with, like, the best score. And then I pretty much figured out some kind of exploitable thing you can do that it's just impossible to lose. You just keep racking up points. But... Yeah, it was a good time. It was a good time. I like how for Act 2, a lot of the lava's kind of, like, hardened and stuff. Kind of a more mellow look. Same with the music. Uh-oh, it's a poison guy. Those guys were actually even specifically mentioned in the Sonic and Knuckles uh, uh, manual, game manual. The little poison cloud dudes. Oh my gosh. I gotta stop getting hit. I gotta get good. I gotta get good. Alright. Alright, let's do it. Super Ray to the rescue. I don't even need a muscle go. What? Robotic item box? What are you gonna do? Hurt me? You can't hurt me. I'm invincible. Yeah, jump up here. It's 
especially in super form, he is so mobile. Is this even like... Am I going the right way when I do this? I don't know. Ooh. I like that background there too. There's like a lot of cool stuff going on it seems like. Lava, we're not worried about no stinking lava. like that little twisty thing that you more or less jump off of. It's kind of cool. Well, that's not quite what I was going for, but there we go. That better not. Like, I can just see that thing shooting at one of those rock dudes. Like squishing me. Is that... That gets me quite a bit. Getting squished. No. Yay, this boss. I do not like this boss. He rides on a motorcycle and swings a ball and chain, and he does jumps. Eventually, he shoots, like, fire. We're just gonna beat him real quick, honestly. Yeah, the fire shoots out of those, too. Yeah. It's like supposed to be some kind of like daredevil show thing, I think. I don't know. Yeah. Now that we're through Lava Reef. Metallic Madness Zone. This one's a little bit on the goofy side with the way some things work. <laughs> Gotta grab that shield. Oh, of course, and then I lose it sliding into that saw blade guy. Oh no. I hate those. It's like one of those Russian doll things, but it it explodes, and so do the other little ones that come out of it. And you can't really do much besides avoid it. Not get messed over. Oh, no! Okay! I'm gonna land on one of those, of course. Yeah. Yeah, he did not have a good day. Poor Knuckles. And of course, like, it gets kind of goofy, too, because you go back and forth between the background and the foreground in this one, too, at times. Oh my god, come on. Why are you doing this to me, bro? We just have... I got squished! I'm so good at getting squished in these games anymore. You know, I'm just gonna fly. The heck with all this. Wait a second, I wanna get back up there. I want to ring. I don't know how to even... I don't know if I can get it from this side or if I have to do it from... I don't know. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to... No, I cannot from there. Shoot! 
That'd have been an easy 50 rings. I just need to jump down here. I don't. I don't want to go into the background. It's kind of hard to see, especially with how colorful. Oh no! I landed right on that. Pro gamer moment. Pro gamer moment. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, 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 ah! You're supposed to probably. Wow. Okay. You know what? If I wasn't Ray, that would have been more annoying. Good thing Ray is awesome. He's the best character. Best character. Yes. Yeah, we're just gonna transform. I don't even wanna mess with- Oh god, I gotta go back into the background again! It's such a crazy design. You can tell they had fun when they made that. Oh, it's this boss. I don't like this boss. Revisit the Sonic 1 end boss. No, he's over there. Doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. I got you. Trying to squish me out there, you what, Robotnik? Bam. Oh, now for the fun part. Can't see the air quotes, but there were definitely air quotes around the word fun there. Oh my god, no! Yes! You know, like, that's not that hard of a boss fight, but since I always die from getting squished, it just, that one always worries me. And all you have to do is just be in the wrong place and not move fast enough and you're dead on that. Alright, go up here. Whoops. That's right, I'm supposed to hit that spring. Oh my god. Ooh. I wonder how far I can just fly and skip a bunch of sh isn't it? Pretty far! Ray, you awesome flying squirrel dude. I'm gonna hit spikes. Yep, I knew it. All because I wanted to get that life. I knew that was going to be a very, very bad decision. And I still did. All, all for the YOLO. This one's kind of crazy. Oh, yep, and then they have a shrink ray. They, I mean, they had to have had a lot of fun with the level design for those. I mean, you go back and forth between the foreground and the background. You got shrink rays. Come on. There's no way they didn't have fun with those. Oh my god, really? I really do want to make sure, though, that I have... Oh, I... You... No, this isn't what I thought it was going to be. Okay, good. I definitely want to have 50 rings in super form when I go to fight the boss here. Uh, 
That boss be kind of scary. Otherwise. Are you on? Yeah, he's on my side. Oh no, that's a bomb, dude. I'm not messing with that. I'm not touching it. Ten foot pole. Oh my gosh. Come on. Dude, that jump. It's not even that hard of a jump. I can't make it. Oh, are you kidding me? I just, I can't keep my rings. I might actually have to do this hard mode. That's okay. I guess it was too easy. I need to have a struggle somewhere on this journey, right? That's, that's gonna be it. Oh. No! What is with all these? Dang. I'm so out of luck for this. I really am. Go down here. You know what? I I do have a shot here. I've got a shot here. This all hope has not been lost yet. Darn near, but I might be able to score a couple. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to spend a little bit of time in this little mini game now. Make up for my failures. Okay. Welcome to the pinball edition of Sonic Mania. <laughs> You'll learn how to become a pinball shark. Is that even a thing, a pinball shark? Like a card shark, but a pinball? I don't know. Do, 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 do. I do need a shield. Hey, I got a revive or not revive? Oh my god! Continuation. <laughs> I got a revive. It's like easy and I can just milk it for everything that I want. But we're not gonna do that. <gasps> Shoot! No, I should have stayed. Oh. Well, rip. I, I messed up. I might as well not even have bothered with that at this point. We're living on the edge here now. Summoning all the old Sonic bosses. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, that's right. I have to actually come back here, Robotnik. That's when we just abuse the ring mechanics in this game. This wasn't the boss I was thinking it was. I was thinking of the one for the next area. Oh boy. Oh boy. That thing. Pretty 
pretty big. Titanic Monarch is out. Jump over that. This is another uh, another zone I didn't really like at first, but now that I'm kind of used to it and everything, I don't mind it nearly as much. There's still some parts that really suck, especially in the second act. No, you're not doing that. Thanks, Knuckles. You helped me out, buddy. But there are some places here that really mess me up. Because I get squished. And that's my number one weakness. Whoops, I should have uh, hit left instead. Oh well. I'll shoot up here. Bam, look at that. Alright, I'm not losing this. You... Ooh, let's get a shield. Get a bubble shield. Better than nothing, right? Oops. I'm really a little bit. All right. Got a hundred ring. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh oh. Alright, we're transforming again. Oh yeah, this part. I hate this part. This is one of the parts where I die a lot! Yay! Oh, that was a little close. Just a tap. Oh no. You know what? I can just do that. That is the big brain method. What if I just- oh, it forces me to- oh, here- oh, I'm on the wrong side of them. It just, like, flies and crashes into stuff. It makes no sense that that would even be a thing. Some of these- these robot designs are very questionable. I don't know what Robotnik was thinking. Oh no, I didn't get the life there. Do I really need it? Probably not. Oh my. I know there's a spring there, but it's still scares the crap out of me whenever I am I'm there, going through there. It's like, oh no, spikes! Heck, I mean, I'm even in super form, it wouldn't matter. And I'm still like, oh, I don't want the spikes. I don't want those. 
Ah, here's the lovely boss from the first act of Death Egg Zone. That they kind of reworked. This part is just like back in the old day. And uh, without Super Fork, it still sucks. Fortunately, Ray, especially in super form, can just smack that guy no matter where he's at. Heck yeah. We're gaming. We're gaming. We're almost through this. Actually. Alright. Knuckles just goes in the complete opposite direction. <laughs> Good job, Knuckles. Or are you gonna push me or not? There we go. That spring wasn't entirely sure what it wanted to do. The missile knows where it is, because it knows where it isn't. Okay, no, last time I learned my, my darn lesson, we're going this way first. We're doing top and then, oh my god, I'm terrible. I thought, oh, I'll just spin dash. Not the wisdom call. Alright. Oh, go up. Watch me, folks. I will teach you all the ways to not beat this game. Oh! I have a certain set of skills. No! Oh my god, are you kidding me? I was... W That's so stupid. I was wandering away from being able to go super, and... That just really screwed me over. I'm not okay with that. You know, I already lost all my rings, I might as well. Yeah, yeah, just, just keep hitting me, bud. I've got nothing to lose anymore. It's already gone. I'm gonna go down here. Okay, we're just gonna bounce around. Come on, bouncy. There we go. Very bouncy. And we're gonna crash. There's not even any airbags in that thing. Poor Ray's having his brains rattled by that. What I oh yeah I hate this path yeah this path is bad but there's a yeah that's right there's these springs there's one there that always messes with me too as I look at it, I'm like where am I supposed to go and then I realize I'm like oh yeah that's right oh I shouldn't have done that you know what that actually kind of worked out for me I'll take it I'll take it. Yeah, I don't feel like getting blown up by that bear. Wow. That ended up really good for me. Oh. We're gonna crash. It's like, yeah, let's do it. Oh my gosh. Kind of messed up my glide there. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna have to, like. Oh my god, why can I not do that right? There we go. Oh my god. The speed is actually. What is making that very difficult? 
See, I was trying to do what is essentially a shortcut to save time, and all I did was make life way worse for myself. That is a hard fail. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I might as well just do this normal at this point. Can we not? Oh my god, jump. Mighty. Or not mighty, just the right. I hate this. Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm, it doesn't really matter anymore. I used all my rings up, so. It really does not matter to me. I'm gonna have to fight that last boss with out super. I can do it, it's just gonna be more annoying. I got caught on him the other day when I was trying to play. His knuckles. But now I kind of understand what I'm doing a little bit better, so I've got my strap. Ooh. We'll do it. We'll beat this one there. Even if it kills me, we'll beat it. So hopefully it's uh, that bad. Is this? Yep, this is where I need to go. Slam dunk, baby. Alright. Ooh, that's right. This one has a trap in it I gotta watch out for. And I'm also gonna do a little bit of over prepping here. I think I'm gonna try to get two ring boxes just to hit my 50. Because I don't know what's gonna happen. This is the part where everything matters a little bit more than usual. Because I like to just kind of sleep on the boss. Oh! Alright, well, so much for that. <laughs> That's fine. We're gonna be good. I think. I hope. Alright. Bounce. Alright, what? Like... I don't really understand what... is going on there, but... Because I couldn't, I couldn't actually, I think I was supposed to go there and not all the way up there. I think that was... Yes. Ooh. Yeah, no more fans. Okay, go around this way, go do the loop-de-loop, -loop and pull. Slam dunk, here we go. That's what we were looking for. Boss time! Alright, hurry up. Wasted my rings. You can get five hits on them. Well, I got rid of two of his arms. Alright. Time for the hands. Come on. I don't know if I'm gonna beat him, actually. Hmm. 
What are you kidding me? Oh my god, I could have finished him right there. And I got stuck when I bounced off of him. Oh my god. Alright, we'll do this legit then, I guess. <sighs> this boss, he just wastes so much time. He is a time waster. Probably my least favorite one. Not really sure how I'm gonna do this. I don't know how I beat him without like taking a few hits, honestly. I'm already off to a terrible, terrible start. What? There we go. Hit that, homie. Got some hits in there. All right, he's gonna touch me again. I don't like being grabbed. Oh. He's gonna shoot those things. You don't actually have to defeat these things. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep my distance from you, buddy. some nice hits in there let's go I can take oh that I hate you oh, that's stupid I lost my ring I'm actually in trouble now a little bit his jump. Like, he just, he moves so quick. I couldn't dodge that. I mean, if I jumped, I would have bounced off. But this is, this is probably gonna take a few tries. Much as I hate to say it, and this boss just wastes so much time. If you're impatient like me, it's like, ugh. Let's get it over with. Robotic. Well, I got rid of one of those. Alright, let's try this again. Hopefully not screw this up for but oh my gosh, come on. I like how it just fell me. Really? Come on, man. Wow, okay. I got rid of another arm. That's alright, that's progress, I'll take it. Oh, there we go. There we go. This is one of the worst. Okay, I'm gonna just stay away from you, buddy, because you hurt way too much. No, don't touch me. What I'm worried about is the next little boss dude he's gonna throw at me. Oh, 
I gotta keep that ring no matter what. I can't afford to lose it. Uh, especially with this guy, because he pretty much always gets me with that stupid laser attack. Oh my god, how did I not get hit by that? What? That's amazing. That's right, Robotnik. Took me a few tries, but I got you. You jike. Caution, alert. Man, that does not sound good. Everyone to the rocket ship. Let's get out of here. I am so glad that's over. Holy cow. Ray, Sonic, and Mighty. I think I'll play as Mighty tomorrow. And maybe we'll wrap up Sonic Mania on Wednesday with a uh, playthrough in... Was it Mania mode? Where you can switch between them all. And then I don't know what we'll do. Because last Epoch multiplayer is going to be hitting, and I'm definitely going to be jumping on that. Designer. All right. Well, anyway, we don't really need to watch all the credits there. But anyway, we made it through. I guess we don't actually have to fight the final boss as Ray, and I'm assuming it's the same with Mighty. Whew, that was tough, and a couple of times they're pretty darn frustrating, but we did it. Anyway, thank you everyone that stopped by during the stream. Much appreciated, and again, Moxie the Fox 999 thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate that a lot. I hope to see you again sometime. Again, tomorrow we're going to play through the game again as Mighty the Armadillo. Kind of see how that turns out. Anyway, folks, as always, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care. But for now, this is Agent Ice, signing off.